Hello everyone, welcome to this new video on the channel. Uh, today I'm going to be explaining the full uh, full tutorial to Public HC and Project Flight because a lot of people were requesting it. This explaining will go from the flying itself to communications and the realistic experience. So yeah, let's jump right into it. So before we're going to do anything, um, I like to write down everything on a piece of paper. It can be on an Notepad too. I can just search up Notepad. It should be on your PC if you use Windows. You can write everything down here, but I like to do it on a piece of paper. So you're gonna write down your disappeared. Write down your call sign. KLM five three five two three two. It's gonna be KLM five two three two. And then what you do then is you go to Discord and you decide where you fly from and where you fly to so in this case I will be flying from uh, MDST which is uh, Cibao to let's say Catilla because it's a nice airport so then you need to grab the charts uh, these are ba basically the, the maps of every airport you can call it like the, the runway the taxiways so you're gonna need one from for Cebao, which is this one. You can see you see the runway here, 11 and 29, and all the gates, taxiways. It's going to open this in my browser, and then we need one for Catilla, and we only need this one, and not this one because this is for departure. So if you depart from Catilla, you need this one. This is the one we need. So you are gonna open this one too. Next thing you wanna do is go to your browser and search tracker.projectflight.com uh, all the links will be in the description by the way so this is where you see every plane on the entire map and on the uh, entire server but we will filter on public ATC server that's where we're on right now and if it's if you're on the good server you can see your own airplane sitting at the airport so it's KLM5232 right now this button over here you click that and then you can it's well, MDST is about to Catilla. Flight rules, IFR, altitude, let's do 12,000. So then, you see all these waypoints over here. Like PC102, it's Papa Charlie. You can type to like, let's say, Banzai. It's this one over here. Uh, to CDP63, Charlie Delta Papa 63 to maybe like FLA. So now when you're filing this route, uh, you decide what star arrival you want to do. So it's like the route you fly to get to the airport. So we, we want to fly from FLA to Bravo, Sudip. This is Robux. You can see it's a waypoint here. So Robux and then land. So we're gonna file that. FLA, Brav, Bravo, Sudip, Robux. So that's that's our route. We can change a little bit, like uh, not CDP3, but like something neon to Evla, Bravo, Sudip, Robux. So we're coming a little bit nicer. Then uh, be aware, by the way, if you take off or land, uh, the ATC might give you factors. So it's like the heading or the speed. So it may you may not fly this route. Or fly this route. Now you want to get to the A to C frequency you want to go to. So in my part it's Subao, it's MDP, ST. So we join this one. You open the chat. So then you see this flight pad over here. You copy this one. And just paste it and then you write down your call sign on the top. So KLM 5232. Your aircraft, so it's mine, it's Boeing 77. You're going to fly IFR. So IFR is instrument of flight rules. So it's basically used for like the big airliners, and if you are flying like the Cessna, uh, you do VFR. But we in this part we're gonna use IFR. <coughs> Departing from MDST, arriving Catilla, and the cruising flight level CRZ um, is going to be 120. So not you don't write 12,000, you just write 120. So let's say if you wanna fly. 60, 6,000, you write this. So if you write 
this down. I like for myself. I like to copy this. I write it down mostly, but put it down here, and then uh, there is a chance the agency will give you other information like with the squawk. You will need to copy that too. But then if you found this all this and you have sent it, you can unmute yourself and then you will request the IVAR clearance. So I'm, I am going to tell you how it's working. And then we're going to ask the following thing. So write it down. Call sign. Requesting IVAR clearance to destination. It's actually this this simple. This is the most used sentence in public AC. So for me it will be KLM five two three two requesting IFR clearance to Ktila. So let's request that and then we write down everything the ATC says. KLM five two three two requesting IFR clearance to Ktila. KLM five two three two Clear to be the last five. Uh, initial flight level is 3000 feet, square of feet 1015, and squawk uh, 2374. Okay, then 5232, clear to Catilla asphalt. Uh, initial flight level is 3000, QNH 1015, squawk 2374. Okay, then 5232, read back correct, uh, call me already for startup. Right, so now I asked for the IFR clearance and I you see I wrote something to us. So in this fly level is the fly level you fly to first before continuing to leave cruising fly level. You don't need to put that in here. So we can just put it in here. Then the squawk, I put it down here. So I uh, because I want to copy it fast. So you have me uh, read back everything you said. Just repeat the squawk in this fly level, um, the Q and H. You don't have to repeat everything you put here. So, so we're going to request a push and start. Before continuing to continuing, by the way, um, this is very important to know. You don't say Texas to see. You say Charlie Juliet to make it more clear. Then we're going to start. So we are going to request. We are going to request the ATC for push and start. KLM five two three two requesting push and start from Bravo four. KLM five two three two start up and push back up to the. To the right. KLM 5232 push and start approved till right. Copy. So you hear me say call sign requesting push and start from gate. So this is actually what you say to push and start. Then he gives us the clearance and then we then you say clear to push and start face west. That's what we're gonna do now. So we're going to put our jetway away. So now you press P. So we're just gonna start up our engines. So now that we have started our engines we can put our lights on, taxi lights, local lights, position, position lights uh, into collision. Parting green ratio 29. So the heading for 29 is 293. So we can put it in the heading. So now that we have set everything up we can Go and ask the ATC for the taxi instructions. So we're going to request this. Call sign requesting taxi instructions to runway, active runway. So it's gonna be KLM5232 requesting taxi instructions to runway 29 with this one. So KLM5232 requesting taxi instructions to active runway 29. 5232 taxi to holding point uh, Bravo runway 29. KLM5 Two three two. Text the holding point Bravo uh, runway two nine. So you heard me say, uh, KLM. Yeah, all this. Five two three two. Let's start taxiing. By the way, put a flap some to take off. KLM five two three two. Wind one zero zero at six. Bravo two nine. Clear for takeoff. KLM five two three two. Clear for takeoff runway uh, two nine. So you see, I expected runway 1-1 for departure, so I made a route on that, but we were able to change the route, so we're going to take off right now. Put your speed autopilot on. So now we have to take off, so we're gonna put our flaps up, retract our landing gear, put our landing lights off and taxi lights too. 
So now we're going to put our alpha toggle on to 3000 and wait for HC to say something. DLM 5232, flight heading 080, advising me when reaching 3000 feet. DLM 5232, flight heading uh, 080, right, uh, advising when reached in this flight level. So you heard me say, uh, you heard HC say that I have to fly right heading 080, so we're going to put our heading to that. And we have to advise when we are in this flight level 3000, so we are in now. So we're going to tell A to C. Get them 5232 reads in this flight level. Get them 5232, you're at the uh, for to climb to cruising level and contact the uh, Pentagon approach from a line at decimal 750. Get them 5232, climb to uh, cruising altitude, contact, put the gun approach on 119 decimal 750. Bye bye. So now we're going to climb to our cruising altitude, set our autopilot to that. It's by the way. So then he told us to frequency change to put the gun approach 119 decimal 750. So we're going to contact this one. Um, you can see our plane flying here. We wanna switch to Gran Canaria right now because we're flying over Gran Canaria by almost. Then we can go and contact Grand Canaria approach on 122, 124.300. So let's turn it. GLM 5232, are you in the frequency? GLM 5232, Afer. GLM 5232, Afer. So we just uh, heard HC ask if I was in the frequency, and I was. So you say AFIRM, and then he asks you to state your intentions. So what do you want to do? Uh, in this case, I want to land at Catilla. So you say like kill him, five two three two landing at Catilla, and then you say fly this heading or go that way, or just he uh, just says. Um, Continue asphalt. So that's what I said now. So we just continue our route. We're going to fly to Efla. So we're going to uh, turn left heading 054. Going to put a 054. You want to descend very early. I may even start descending almost. Because if you see the star. It's also just the uh, altitude you need, so um, at f we need 3000, at Bravo we need 2500 and Surab 2000. And now we're going to grab the ap approach over here. I'd say we're already starting to descend, because it's going to take a very long time. So let's put it to 3000. And maybe put our flaps down already, because we're starting to descend. So that's what we're doing now. Um, when you think you're getting close to the airport, contact the ATC over here. Uh, but for now, we don't need to contact anyone. Alright, uh, we're going to join the Catilla frequency as we're getting close to approaching the thing. So, shut up Catilla, join. Uh, ATC is supposed to contact you. So we can turn left there, here now, 300. So when we reach this, we can turn right left now. Go 300. And after Bravo, we descend to 2000 feet and turn right, heading 327. So that's what we're gonna do. So now we've reached Bravo almost. So we're going to return right 327. Descent to 2000 feet. Like the shit says. So, of the star. So, 2000 over here. You can see it. Claim 5222, you cleared for approach to the army 34. Get him 5232, cleared approach to the army 34. Copy. So, 
we are already cleared to approach on runway 34. Uh, it's 334, so we're going to turn 334 and we are on setup now. So we're going to start a glide slope in a few moments. Turn to 334. And you see the lights next to the runway. Uh, if you have 4 reds, you m it means you're too low. And 4 whites means you're too high. And like 3 reds is it's a little bit too low. But for now we're not going to descend because we're too low. Now we're getting one white, and we can reduce our speed a little bit to get a little glide. We could put the landing lights on and taxi lights in our Curve gear. five two three two. One thousand feet, please. Get them five two three two. Descent to one thousand feet. Copy. So HC told us to descend to one thousand feet. So that's where we're we going to do. Curve five two three two. Curve for landing to one three four. Get them 5, 2, 3, 4, uh, to clear the landing runway 3, 4. So he cleared the landing. Uh, most times the HC speaks a little bit clearer and tells you the winds, but uh, I think we're alright. So we're going to disable the autopilot. Speeds will be at 200 knots. We'll be holding all the power over the airport as well. So now we've landed and putting on the reverse thrust and press B for brakes. Come on, 5 2 3 2, nice landing. Welcome to the airport. Keep high, you clear for taxi via Lima Tango Tango to the gate of your shoes. Okay, then 5 2 3 2 cleared to taxi to any gate of choice via Lima Tango Tango. So we just landed, we can turn off all the landing lights. And we are clear to taxi to any gate. We're going to for gate two right now. Via Lima, Tango, Tango to gate two. So, if you approve it, additional flight runway zero two zero. Cruise flight approved zero four zero. Uh, the Panama runway uh, thirty two uh, squawk three two four three uh, Ryanair six six six. So now that we landed and parked at the gate, we can shut off all the engines. If you enjoy the video. Uh, please like and subscribe. I just see that I'm parked a little bit early, but uh, like and subscribe if you enjoy the video and have a nice day.